<laughs> Fire! Reader, it's a pirate ambush! Sam, I can't steer. We've got them now. Oh, goody, goody, goody. They're gaining on us. Reader, transform the ship. It's no use, Paige. Something's wrong. We've lost control of the ship. Chester! I gotcha. What is your name? Find it on the list or type it in. Z. I. G. Z. A. G. Glad you're here. We sure could use some help during our adventure. Oh, cheesed again. Oh, cheesed again. Oh. Hey, Reader! Who's this guy? Where's our ship? I am Professor Heatherman. And you are? Reader Rabbit, at your service. Look, we'd love to stick around, but we've got to get back to the dream ship. Reader, look! The ship! It's stuck in, um, on... Oh, uh, that is Mount Cheesemore. Cheesemore. Yeah, right there. And I will take you there as soon as you uh, de-cheese my uh, hovercraft. Mount what? Oh, oh, not to worry. It is a pirate island. Mm-hmm. Pirates? Oh! Oh, no! Sam, what happens if they get to our ship? At last! The dream ship is ours! <laughs> Hey, Reader, where's Paige? Paige? I'm here! All right, Professor, so what do you need to fix that hovercraft? Hmm, let's see. I'll need some macaroni fruit for sure. Mm -hmm. Macaroni fruit? And some French bread loaves, of course. Hmm, of course. And a few blue cheese bricks. Mm -hmm. Bricks, that should do it. Mm -hmm. Right. And we can get these where? Oh, uh, you'll find them on the island. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. Oh, you gotta look for them, of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, I would help you, but I must classify my insects. Mm -hmm. Of course. Your what? My insects. You see, I am an entomologist. Entomologist. That's what I do. I study insects. Insects. Bugs. <laughs> well, uh, we better hurry if we want to get to our ship before the pirates. Riley, Cheester, follow that rabbit. The rest of ye are coming with me. I want that ship. Arr! Yes, sir. <laughs> Okay, let's go. I'll help, too. Chester, will you carry the macaroni fruit, the French bread loaves, and the blue cheese bricks? Let's find that rabbit, Chester. Yes, here are three barrels to fill up with three items. Yes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Macaroni fruit, French bread loaves, and some blue cheese bricks. Mm-hmm, bricks, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, bricks. Mm-hmm, yes, well, you see, I've got to get these insect jars labeled and categorized before I can begin the repairs. Mm-hmm, the repairs. I'll be in my insect hut if you need me. Mm -hmm, right over there. We have to fill all three of those big barrels? Full? Sounds like a tall order. On the other hand, we could just swim over to Mount Cheesemore. Mm -hmm. Oh, no! Gorgonzola will never let you make it across. Never, never, mm, never. Who's Gorgonzola? 
Oh, ah, he is the uh, giant cheese Ozola who lives in the ocean. Down there. Mm -hmm. Looks like we have some barrels to fill. Let's get hopping, Sam. Oh, no! The dam is going to overflow again! Watch out! Whoa! What's going on here? Those pesky pirates chopped my tree down. With the palm tree transport broken, I can't get any bricks up here now. Now the dam is overflowing, and the cheese flow is knocking out those blue cheese bricks. Blue cheese bricks? You can say that again. Is there anything we can do to help you out? Uh, Mr. Turtle? The name's Larry Laidback, and thank you kindly for asking. I sure could use your help repairing the palm tree transports. All you have to do is place the correct letter tiles into the slots on the transports. It should hold together long enough for me to repair the dam. The name's Laidback. Mr. Laidback, do you think you could spare a few of your blue cheese bricks? We need to give some to the professor. Sure. With your help, I bet you I can spare a brick here or there. Fantastic! You've got a deal! Pick the right letters to finish the word on the transport. Move the letters into place. Flip. 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 Lost. 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 Chip. 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 Great work. We've got the palm tree transport up and running. Trap. 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 West. 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 Spin. 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 You sure know how to put your letters together. Thanks. That'll hold the fondue back. Help yourself to a cheese brick. Least. 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 Frown. Pick the right letters to finish the word on the transport. Move the letters. If you want to hear the word again, press the radio. Frown. Frown. Frown.
Try again. I really need that brick. Make sure you fill in all the missing letters. Sometimes when two letters are joined together, they make a special sound. Frown, frown, frown. Crown. Catch. 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 Nice job. Thanks for the help. Snack. 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 Place. Place Drive 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 <laughs> I never knew we could spell so well. Thanks to you, we're fixing this dam. Have a cheese brick for your troubles. Trumpet. Trumpet. Make sure you fill in all the mist. Trumpet. Trumpet. Clown. You're close, but you have a few more letters to find. Clown. Make sure you fill in all the missing letters. Rush. Scary. 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 
bother. Bob. Wow! Let's fix some more words. Thanks. That'll hold the fondue back. Help yourself to a cheese brick. Oh no! The dam is going to overflow again. Everyone hide in your shells. Look at that hovercraft! We sure wrecked it, didn't we, Sam? We double wrecked it! Let's visit the professor and see how he's doing. Mm-hmm. Macaroni fruit, French bread loaves, and some blue cheese bricks. Mm-hmm. Bricks. Mm-hmm. Roaring raspberries! Professor Heatherman, you sure have a lot of funny-looking bugs. Any cheese-eating ones? Uh, what Sam is trying to say is that your insect collection is very interesting, and we'd like to help you. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, well, I think that could be arranged, and I'd really appreciate the help, since I don't have time to, uh, monkey around. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, uh, oh, yeah, I, I come to think of it, I need to label some jars for my latest insect finds. Uh, would you like the job? Sounds great. How can we help you? Funny you should ask. Uh, take a look at this. <laughs> this is a diagram that shows the body parts of an insect. It will help you learn how to make labels for my insect jars. All insects have some very important things in common. First of all, they have three main body parts. A head at the front, a thorax in the middle, and an abdomen at the end. All insects have two antennae that are attached to the head. Oh, they also have six legs that are attached to the thorax, three on each side. Mm -hmm. Lots of insects have wings, and some insects even have something on the end of the abdomen, like this stinger. Ouch! Oh, oh, ah, don't touch it. So there you have it, the body parts of an insect. Mm-hmm. Anytime you want to look at the diagram again, just pull the string, and I will be happy to show it to you. Mm-hmm, happy. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're ready, pick a jar, and I'll give you a list of instructions to help you make a label. Mm-hmm. Label. That sounds like more fun than a barrel of monkeys. Uh, what my friend means, Professor, is we'd love to do it. Here is the first one, uh, number one. Yellow jacket. Now, uh, take a look at this list. It tells you some things about this insect's body parts. Mm -hmm. You must look through the parts and select one of each to make a picture for the label. Mm -hmm. Oh, and when you're finished, press that small jar. Mm -hmm. That one. Yes, well, oh, those wings just aren't working for me. Mm -mm. Ooh, 
so close, yet this insect needs a different pair of wings. Mm -hmm. Ah, you've completed the insect label for this jar. Good. Oh, here's some interesting information about this insect. Yellow jackets are a kind of wasp and are found mostly in North America. They live in large groups and work together to build nests where they can lay their eggs. Yellow jackets eat nectar, insects, and sometimes even spiders. The female yellow jacket has a stinger at the end of the abdomen, which it uses for protection and to paralyze prey. Ah, you've returned to label the insects? Choose one of the empty jars and make a label. I'm glad you can help me out with this one. Mm -hmm. Very glad. Only one part is right. Whoop, <laughs> try again. Oh, excellent. Ah, eep. Uh, but a couple of these need to be changed slightly. Mm -hmm. That looks like a bug from outer space. <laughs> Not that I've ever been there, of course. Uh, but uh, let's make some changes, shall we? Yes, uh, some of that bug is good. Yes, very good. Uh, some, uh, not so good. Uh, let's see if we can fix it, shall we? Oh, excellent. Ah, eep! Uh, but a couple of these need to be changed slightly. Mm -hmm. Oh, banana -rific. This label looks terrific! Oh, here's some interesting information about this insect. Although the bee fly does not have a stinger, it is very similar to a honey bee. It has a hairy, colorful body, and it buzzes loudly when it flies. Bee flies live in dry, hot places and drink nectar from flowers. Since bee flies look like real bees, most animals do not try to eat them. Oh, ah, it's time to stop monkeying around and start making another insect label. Uh, choose one of the jars, uh, would you please?
Here are the instructions for this label. Picture perfect. Another one done. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's some interesting information about this insect. Grasshoppers live in fields and are plant eaters. Like some other insects, grasshoppers have holes along the sides of their bodies for breathing. These insects can use their wings to fly, but they are especially known for hopping. They use their long back legs to jump long distances. Oh, pick a jar, and let's make another picture. Take a look at the list for this insect. None of these parts belong on this insect. Uh, please check the list and try again. Try again. Ah, oh, uh, put your heads together and come up with a different head. Mm hmm. That's very good, but I think that head belongs on a, a different insect. <laughs> I think you need to look at the list to find out which parts to use. Ah, oh, uh, put your heads together and... Well, you sure know your insect parts. Have you ever thought of becoming an entomologist? Entomologist. <laughs> Could be you. Oh, here's some interesting information about this insect. The dragonfly is a colorful insect that uses its large wings to fly and swoop down to catch other insects. It can even hover in the air like a hummingbird. Dragonflies lay their eggs in water. When the eggs hatch, the young dragonflies, or larvae, live in the water until they have grown enough to fly away. When they are ready to lay eggs, they return to the water. Ah, you've returned to label the insects? Choose one of the empty jars and make a label. Oh, yes, I really appreciate your help with this label. Oh, that looks like a bug from outer space. <laughs> Not that I've ever been there, of course. Uh, but uh, let's make some changes, shall we? Mm -hmm. Oh, 
yes, uh, some of that bug is good. Yes, very good. Uh, some, uh, not so good. Uh, let's see if we can fix it, shall we? Scientifically speaking, you are super duper. Mm hmm. Excellent. Oh, here's some interesting information about this insect. The mayfly lives near lakes and rivers and lays its eggs in the water. After the eggs hatch, the baby mayflies, called nymphs, do not have wings yet. They sometimes spend more than two years living in the water. They have to watch out for fish that try to eat them. Once the nymph becomes an adult, it only lives for a few more hours, just long enough to lay its eggs. Oh, ah, it's time to stop monkeying around and start making another insect label. Uh, choose one of the jars, uh, would you please? Here are the instructions for this label. Oh, excellent. Ah, eep! Uh, but a couple of these need to be changed slightly. Mm -hmm. Oh, another banana-rific label. At this rate, we'll be finished in no time. Mm -hmm. No time. Oh, here's some interesting information about this insect. Although the monarch butterfly is beautiful, it is actually poisonous. It gets its poison when it is still a caterpillar by eating the leaves of the poisonous milkweed plant. Animals that try to eat the monarch get sick, and the bright colors of this butterfly warn animals to stay away. Monarchs use a long tongue to sip nectar from flowers. Oh, eep! Oh, pick a jar, and let's make another picture. Take a look at the list for this insect. Oh, that looks like a bug from outer space. <laughs> Not that I've ever been there, of course. Uh, but uh, let's make some changes, shall we? Mm Oh, banana -rific. This label looks terrific! Oh, here's some interesting information about this insect. The water strider is also known as the pond skater. It mostly lives in ponds and streams. 
The water strider uses its long legs to run across the top of water. It can feel vibrations on top of the water when insects fall into the pond, and this helps it catch other bugs for food. Ah, you've returned to label the insects? Choose one of the empty jars and make a label. Oh, yes, I really appreciate your help with this label. Oh, oh, mm, mm, that's one strange-looking insect you've got there. Ah, check the list again, please. Oh, strange. Only one part is right. Oop, try again and find the rest of them. Oh, yes, uh, some of that bug is good. Yes, very good. Uh, some, uh, not so good. Uh, let's see if we can fix it, shall we? I think you need to look at the list to find out which parts to use. Maybe the professor will read it to you. Picture perfect. Another one done. Oh, here's some interesting information about this insect. The colorful jewel wasp is a very interesting insect. As an adult, it usually eats nectar and tree sap. But when it is ready to lay eggs, it stings a cockroach, lays the eggs on top of it, and then puts the cockroach into a hole. When they hatch, young jewel wasps, called larvae, live in the cockroach and use it for food. When they are old enough, the larvae make cocoons and turn into jewel wasps. Oh, ah, it's time to stop monkeying around and start making another insect label. Uh, choose one of the jars, uh, would you please? Here are the instructions for this label. Oh, you're so close, I just can't stand it. <gasps> but you need a new thorax. Um, middle part. Mm -hmm. Hello? Uh, uh, hello? You still need a different thorax.
Well, you sure know your insect parts. Have you ever thought of becoming an entomologist? Entomologist. Mm -hmm. Could be you. Oh, here's some interesting information about this insect. Earwigs are small insects that are found all over the United States. Some earwigs are wingless, while others have wings hidden beneath short wing covers. Earwigs eat plants and dead insects, but they can sometimes use the pincers at the tip of their abdomen to catch live insects. During the day, they hide in dark, wet places, and they come out at night to search for food. Oh, eep. oh, pick a jar and let's make another picture. Take a look at the list for this insect. Scientifically speaking, you are super duper. Mm hmm. Excellent. Oh, here's some interesting information about this insect. The stag beetle is easy to recognize because of its huge jaws that look like deer antlers. You might be surprised to learn that this beetle does not eat other insects, it eats plants and sometimes the sap from the inside of trees. This beetle lays its eggs inside of fallen trees. When they hatch, the young stag beetles, called larvae, spend several years eating the dead wood before they become adults. Galloping gorillas, you've completed all the insect labels. Congratulations. If you want to design your own insect pictures, have a look at this folder. <laughs> well, we are all finished here, uh, unless you are feeling creative. We've got to fill these barrels before the professor can get started on the repairs to the hovercraft. Reader, I'm curious to see how the professor's doing with those labels. Wow, Sam! Look at that farm! Are you sure it's a farm? It's Mrs. Mac's fruit farm, and my whole macaroni fruit crop is going to be ruined this year by those falling cheddar cheese chunks. My ears must be malfunctioning. I thought she said macaroni fruit. Wait! Uh, didn't the professor say we needed macaroni fruit to fix the hovercraft? Good memory, Sam. Maybe there's a way to help Mrs. Mac and the professor, too. Reader Rabbit at your service, Mrs. Mac. Did I hear you say you're having macaroni fruit trouble? Yes, those cheddar cheese chunks are falling on my macaroni fruit crop. Oh no, not again. Those falling cheddar cheese chunks are going to put me out of business. Cheddar cheese chunks? <laughs> Try saying that ten times fast. Oh, Sam, quit cheesing around. We have a farm to save. Now. Mrs. Mac, if we stop the cheddar cheese chunks from falling, would you share some of your macaroni fruit with us? Oh, yes! Do you think you could climb up there and see what's going on? Oh. 
Okay, Sam. Let's get hopping up that mountain. You mean that mountain? <laughs> no way. Uh, this lion is staying right down here. Where's your spirit of adventure, Sam? Maybe there's a way up. Let me see if I can help. My grandpa used to say, cheddar, cheese chunks, and mathematical equations make a ladder. What do you suppose he meant by that? A ladder? Of course. We can make ladders by moving those cheddar cheese chunks so they make mathematical equations. Uh, <laughs> maybe it's just me, but I'm not seeing any ladders. Look, Sam, if we move the cheddar cheese chunks onto the correct empty spaces, we can make equations. And each equation is like the rung of a ladder. Hmm? Oh! Oh, those ladders! We've wasted enough time. Let's start moving cheddar. Success! Now you can start climbing this cliff. Here's a piece of macaroni fruit for your hard work. some progress. We're so close, it's scary. Let's finish these ladders. We have the brains, we have the technology. Let's make equations. Here, have some more macaroni fruit. macaroni fruit. Look! It's the Pirates! <laughs> They've seen us! Run for it, Chester! What? Okay. Roaring raspberries! They're getting away! Quick, Sam! After them! All right, Reader! Let's go! Whoa, Reader! It's a waterfall! You're right, Sam. It is a fall. But I don't think it's a waterfall. <laughs> this is fun, huh, Chista? Did you hear that, Reader? I did, Sam. It sounds like... Pirates! Pirates! And it looks like they're throwing nuts into the river. Or is it... French bread? 
Whatever it is, there sure is a lot of it. Whoa! Chattering termites, what was that? You're one of those thieving pirates trying to steal my guardian branch again. What? Oh, no. I'm Rita Rabbit, and I'd never steal your branch. But I could use some French bread loaves. Do you know where I can find any? We're practically swimming in French bread loaves. Actually, that's the problem. You see, French bread loaves always flow down Fondue Falls this time of year. But I've never seen such a mess. It's so congested. It must be those pirates. They were using this funny branch to knock the loaves off some trees. Until those pirates stole it from me, my guardian branch used to help me guard this fall from French bread congestion. Until you arrived, I thought I'd have to wait until my beautiful branch grew back. Now, if you take the guardian branch and help me collect the pieces of French bread loaves that go together, I'll be able to clean up Fondue Falls. Once we've slowed down the congestion, I'll be able to give you some loaves. That's great! I can handle that! Sam, you stay up there with Chester and Paige and keep a lookout for those pirates. Sounds like a plan to me. Catch the pieces of bread that are antonyms, or opposites. Put one word on each of my two branches. If the two words are antonyms, I can send them to Antonym Pond. Cold. termites you're a quick learner here take this piece as a reward for helping me dry wet wet dry Before, after, before, east, west, east, west, worst, best, worst, best. Roaring raspberries, reader. Here, take this piece as a reward for helping me. Hard.
Inside. Outside. Inside. Outside. What would I do without you? I'm thrilled to have you help me, sapling. Please accept this as your reward. Catch the pieces of bread that are synonyms and put them on my branches. If the two words are synonyms, I could send them to Synonym Lake. Catch. Grab. Catch. Grab. Make. Create. Make. Create. Quick. Fast. Quick. Fast. Finish. End. Finish. End. Those pieces were made for each other. I'm thrilled to have you help me, sapling. Please accept this as your reward. Leap. Leap, jump. Later. After. Later, after. Raise. Lift. Lift. Raise. Touch. Feel. Feel. Touch. Score one more for Reader. I'm thrilled to have you help me, Sapling. Please accept this as your reward. Grin. You can put a different piece here if you want. Tired. Sleepy. Tired. Sleepy. Mad. Angry. Mad. Angry. Prepare. Make. Prepare. Make. Grin. Smile. Grin, smile, nice work. Because you're doing such a great job, here's another loaf for helping me. Catch the pieces of bread that can be joined together to make compound words. Put the beginning part of the compound word on this branch and the ending part on this branch. If the two pieces make a compound word, I can send them to Compound Creek. You're saving our island, sapling. Tree.
tree. House. Tree house. Paper. News. News. Fish. Gold. Gold. Fish. Goldfish. B. May. May. B. Maybe. I could sort French bread loaves all day. Because you're doing such a great job, here's another loaf for helping me. No. Way. Keep trying. You can do it. Way. Don't forget to put the pieces on the correct branches. If the words aren't in order, maple won't be. Door. Way. Door. Way. Doorway. It look easy because you're doing such a great job here's another loaf for helping me ball snow snow ball snowball Because you're doing such a great job, here's another loaf for helping me. Find the pieces that make compound words and place them on my branches. Those pie 
sky rats ought to learn some manners. Don't they know they're going to cause a catastrophe by throwing all those loaves into Fondue River? It's worse than a catastrophe. It's a cheese catastrophe. You're right, Sam. We better get back to the professor's hut and deposit these items. We've got to get back to our ship before the pirates do. This is a map. You can use it to travel to locations you've been to before. I have finished all my labels. Thanks a banana. You've been a bunch of help. <laughs> We've got to fill these barrels completely before the professor can help us reach our ship. Hey, Sam, let's see how the professor's doing. The hovercraft is in pretty bad shape. Hello again, my friends. Really nice to see ya. You're here just in time. Think you can help me fix this dam? Of course we can, Mr. Cheeseback. Oh, just call me Larry. I'm glad we can help, Larry. Plus, we could use some more bricks. Let's get those transports fixed. Snake. Snake. Try again. I really need that brick. Make sure you fill in all the missing letters. Snake. Snake. Prize. 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 Brave. 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 Great work! We've got the palm tree transport up and running. Spray. 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 Phone. Phone. Lucky. 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 You sure know how to put your letters together. Thanks to you, we're fixing this dam. Have a cheese brick for your troubles. Crayon. Crayon. Did it. 
Creole. Spring. 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 Shine. 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 Nice job. Thanks for the help. Trust. Trust. Cloud. 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 Trees. <laughs> I never knew we could spell so well. Thanks. That'll hold the fondue back. Help yourself to a cheese brick. <laughs> Joke. 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 Fancy. 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 Smaller. 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 All right, we did it. Shrink. 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 Quietly. Quietly. Make sure you fill. Quiet. Glasses. 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 Wow! Let's fix some more words. 
thanks. That'll hold the fondue back. Help yourself to a cheese brick. <laughs> Look at that hovercraft. We sure wrecked it. We've gotten to the bottom of the mystery, Mrs. Mack. Those sneaky pirates are behind all of this falling cheese. Oh, they're nothing but a bunch of cheesy cheddar cheese chunk chomping pirates. But they took one look at my mighty roar and ran off screaming. I hate to break it to you, but they weren't that scared. Look! Looks like those pe That's it! Success! Now you can start climbing this cliff! Here's a piece of macaroni fruit for your hard work. We have the brains, we have the technology, let's make equations. Here, have some more macaroni fruit. Numbers fit perfectly. Nice work. Here, have some more macaroni fruit. Looks like you're making some progress. We're so close, it's scary. Let's finish these ladders. If you want all three equations to work, you may have to move some of the numbers that you've already put in the ladder. Close! Great job! 
You're getting closer to the top of the cliff. Don't be shy. You earned this macaroni fruit. I see a couple of them work, but you need all three of them to be right. You're equation-making experts. Here, have some more macaroni fruit. Boy, those pirates sure are making a mess. Yeah, and the cheese block could get dangerous. Maybe we should see if Maple needs some more help. Good thinking, Sam. Let's get hopping. Whoa! Welcome back, Greeter. Are you here to help me clear out this mess? Hi, Maple. I'm ready to decongest this congestion. Catch the pieces of bread that can be joined together to make compound words. Put the beginning part of the compound word on this branch and the ending part on this branch. If the two pieces make a compound word, I can send them to Compound Creek. You can put a different piece here. Work. Home. Home. Work. Homework. Some. Where? Some. Where? Somewhere. Rain. Drop. Rain. Drop. Raindrop. Lace. Don't forget to put the pieces on. Lace. Shoe. Shoe. Lace. Shoelace. You make it look easy. Because you're doing such a great job, here's another loaf for helping me. Down. Stared. Down. Stared. Every. Day. Every. Day. 
every day. Hot. Dog. Hot. Dog. Hot dog. Four. Ever. Four. Ever. Forever. Piece of carrot cake. Because you're doing such a great job, here's another loaf for helping me. Class. Room. Class. Room. Man. Snow. Snow. Man. Snow. B. Hive. B. Hive. Cut. Hair. Hair. Cut. Hair. Cut. Nice work. Because you're doing such a great job, here's another loaf for helping me. Fork. Lift. Fork. Lift. Forklift. Fire. Man. Fire. Man. Fire. Day. Time. Day. Time. Daytime. Corn. Flake. Corn. Flake. Corn flake. I could sort French bread loaves all day. Because you're doing such a great job, here's another loaf for helping me. Finger. Nail. Nail. Finger. Nail. Finger nail. Box. Sale. Boat. Sail. Boat. Sailboat. Lunch. Box. Lunch. Box. Side. Ways. Side. Ways. Sideways. You make it look easy. Because you're doing such a great job, here's another loaf for helping me. We've got to fill these barrels before the professor can get started on the repairs to the hovercraft. Reader, I'm curious to see how the professor's doing with those labels.
it looks like Mrs. Mac has been able to harvest some of her macaroni fruit, Reader. The professor's going to be psyched. This cliff. Here's a piece of macaroni fruit for your hard work. macaroni fruit. I see a couple of them work, but you need all three of them to be right. Your equation-making experts. Here, have some more macaroni fruit. macaroni fruit. thing really works. Don't be shy. You earned this macaroni fruit. down a little. How can anything on this planet eat so much cheese? Well, maybe now is a good time to go see the Professor Sam. It looks like Mrs. Mac has been able to harvest Success! 
Now you can start climbing this cliff. Here's a piece of macaroni fruit for your hard work. Your equation-making experts. Here, have some more macaroni fruit. macaroni fruit. This ladder thing really works. Don't be shy. You earned this macaroni fruit. Technology, let's make equations. Here, have some more macaroni fruit. Pirates sure are making a mess. Yeah, and the cheese block could get dangerous. Maybe we should see if Maple needs some more help. Good thinking, Sam. Let's get hopping. Whoa! Welcome back, reader. Are you here to help me clear out this mess? Hi, Maple. I'm ready to decongest this congestion. Catch the pieces of bread that can be joined together to make compound words. T. Cup. T. Cup. Tea cup. Free. Way. Free. Way. Freeway. Paper. Clip. Paper. Clip. Truth. Brush. Tooth. Brush. Toothbrush. Piece of carrot cake. Because you're doing such a great job, here's another loaf for helping me.
oat. Meal. Oat. Meal. Door. Bell. Door. Bell. Doorbell. Sand. Box. Sand. Box. Thing. Some. Some. Thing. Something. Nice work. Because you're doing such a great job, here's another loaf for helping me. could sort French bread loaves all day. Because you're doing such a great job, here's another loaf for helping me. Cake. Cup. Cup. Cake. My. Self. My self. Sand. Quick. Don't forget to put the pieces on the correct branches. If the words aren't in order, maple. Sand. Sand. Quicksand. Water. Fall. Water. Fall. Waterfall. You make it look easy. Because you're doing such a great job, here's another loaf for helping me. Corn. Pop. Pop. Corn. Popcorn. Foot. Ear. Keep trying. You can do it. Print. Foot. Print. Footprint. Ring. Ear. Ear. Ring. Earring. Case. 
Trick. Book. Case. Bookcase. Piece of carrot cake. Because you're doing such a great job, here's another loaf for helping me. We've got to fill these barrels completely before the professor can help us reach our ship. Hey, Sam, let's see how the professor's doing. Cheesemore in the name of Sam the Lion. Onward to the dream ship. We're not there yet, Sam. Don't forget, Mount Cheesemore is crawling with pirates. Crawling is right. The more pirates we avoid, the better. We need to stay sharp. Let's start by finding a way up this mountain. I wish we didn't have to leave the hovercraft. It's better if we keep it here. We might need it to make a quick getaway. Bouncing bunnies! The pirates are mining cheese balls, Sam. Cheese balls? But why are they stamping numbers on them? Har har har! I've just completed the cheese ball orders for the ship's cannons. They're all in this book of order forms. Oh, I thought we was done. I'm not taking any chances, I'm not. I want you to collect some extra cheese balls just in case that meddling rabbit tries something funny. The last thing I need is a funny bunny. But, uh, how do I know which cheese balls you want? Listen, me hearty. Each cheese ball has its weight stamped on it. That's what the number be. So I need you to collect the ones that... Can you hear what he's... Whoa! Wait a... Howling hyenas! Uh, that was the ride of a lifetime. Are you okay, reader? I'm fine. You? I'm great. But I'd be even better if you got off my foot. I'm not on your foot. Uh-oh. Then what's standing on me? Don't panic, Sam. It's just the pirate's order form. Hey, Sam, let's collect all the cheese balls that are listed on the pirate order forms. Then they won't have any ammo for their cannons. Wow, that's smart, reader. This order form is for cheese balls that are stamped with even numbers. We better collect as many even numbers as we can. And let's try not to run into any of the odd ones. Those will just get in our way. No problem, Sam. Let the cheese balls roll. Oops. Careful. <laughs> The old lion magic is working. Oops. Gotcha. Woohoo! Yes. The old lion magic is working. Gotcha. Woohoo! Haha! <laughs> we Well, reader, here's how many we were able to get. We collected almost all of the cheese balls that they wanted. But we need to be careful. 
Sometimes we're grabbing the wrong kind of cheese balls. We need to collect the odd-numbered cheese balls. Okay, it's cheese collecting time. Gotcha! Woohoo! <laughs> yes! The old lion magic is working. Gotcha! Woohoo! <laughs> we The old lion man. All right, here's how we did, reader. Unbelievable! We got them all! This order form is for cheese balls that are stamped with even numbers. We better collect as many even numbers as we can. And let's avoid running into any of the odd ones. They'll just mess us up. All right, let's do it. Gotcha! Lion magic is working. Gotcha. Woohoo. Yes. The old lion magic is working. Take a look, reader. This is how many of the right ones we've collected. We need to grab the cheese balls that are stamped with even numbers greater than this number. No problem, Sam. Let the cheese balls roll. Yes! The old lion magic is working. Gotcha! Woohoo! Yes! The old lion. Gotcha! Woohoo! Ha <laughs> ha! We rule! Yes! The old lion. Gotcha! Well, reader, here's how many we were able to get. Now the pirates won't have any ammo to shoot at our ship. This order is for even-numbered cheese balls that weigh less than the number on the order form. Okay, it's cheese collecting time. Woohoo! Ha <laughs> ha! We rule! Yes! The old lion. Gotcha! Yes! An even number is any number that ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8.
The old lion magic is working. Gotcha! Remember, watch out for the cheese balls that don't match the directions on the order form. The order for All right. Here's how we did, reader. 100% perfect. It doesn't get any better than that. All right. This next batch of cheese balls needs to be collected in order, counting by this number. Let's try not to miss any in the pattern. I'll keep track of the pattern as we collect the numbers. I'll write down the ones we miss in a different color. All right. Let's do it. Yes! The old lion magic is working. Gotcha! Woohoo! Ha <laughs> ha! We Take a look, reader. This is how many of the right ones we've collected. Nice driving, reader. This time, the Pirates want the cheese balls collected in order, like in a number pattern. We'll need to skip count by this number and grab the cheese balls in that order. I'll keep track of the pattern as we collect the numbers. I'll write down the ones we miss in a different color. No problem, Sam. Let the cheese balls roll. Yes! The old lion... Gotcha! Well, reader, here's how many we were able to get. Unbelievable! We got them all! All right, this next batch of cheese balls needs to be collected in order, counting by this number. Let's try not to miss any in the pattern. I'll keep track of the pattern as we collect the numbers. I'll write down the ones we miss in a different color. Okay, it's cheese collecting time! Yes! The old lion... All right, here's how we did, reader. Now the pirates won't have any ammo to shoot at our ship. Whoa, that was fun. Let's do it again. Come on, Sam. Let's scout out the area. Maybe there's a way to get to our ship. Yo, Mountain Dudes. There's a twisted maze in there. Huh? Who are you? Me? I'm Billy the Kid. Your number one guide to Mount Cheesemore Island. How did you know we needed a guide? The professor sent me a cheese mail. Told me to keep an eye out for a rabbit and a lion. That's us. Uh, right. Are you sure you know where you're going? 
Nope, but there's only one way to find out. Do you want to come with us, Billy? What if there's something dangerous inside those giant pirate ears? Like, like giant earwax? If these giant pirates are anything like the real pirates, their heads are probably empty. Check it out, dudes. This is the inside of the <laughs> pirates' headquarters. They've locked the doors with secret codes to ensure their privacy. Do you know where the doors are located, Billy? Uh, not exactly. I guess we'll have to explore this place until we find them. Why did I know you were going to say that? Once we find the first door, I can help you out. I have a chapter on decoding. Hey, Sam! We found a door! Howling hyenas! And it has a giant clock on it. Dudes, it's a pirate clock. And it's the key to opening this door. Of course. The pirate clock has a secret combination. And it looks like we need to set the numbers to match the time on the clock. You are correct, book lady. And after the time is set, we need to press that control panel. When one of the buttons turns green, Part of the combination solved. When the numbers are set correctly three times, the secret code is cracked and the door will open. Okay, Sam, let's see if we can figure this out. Sounds like a plan to me, reader. The sooner we get this door open, the sooner we can get moving. Remember, after you set the time, press the control panel. Howling hyenas! Ha <laughs> ha! We've figured out part of the secret combination. Right on time! Let's do the next one. Now we can continue on toward the ship. Look, reader! A door! Dudes, are you ready to solve the combination for this clock? You betcha we are! Let's figure out the time so we can open this door! Remember, after you set the time, press the control panel. I'm so glad we're solving these combinations. My pages are getting a little damp from the moisture in this cave. You guys rock! This door will be open in no time. Bunnies! We did it! Let's get hopping! Look, reader! A door! Are you ready to solve this message, dudes? You betcha we are! Let's figure out this sentence so we can open this door. Let us know if you need any help. Do. You. Have a a change for a dollar. Do you have change for a dollar? Way to go, dudes! You've outsmarted those pirates! Do you have change for a dollar? Look 
around this tunnel. One of the things that you see I've never met a door I couldn't open. Look, reader! A door! Are you ready to solve this message, dudes? You betcha we are! Let's figure out this sentence so we can open this door. Let us know if you need any help. We... Cut... A... Hexagon... Small... In... Half. We cut a small hexagon in half. Oh, yes! We've unscrambled the message. Awesome, door dudes! It's open! Look, reader! A door! If we get a few more open, we can get back to the ship. Are you ready to solve this message, dudes? You betcha we are. Let's figure out this sentence so we can open this door. Let us know if you need any help. How many legs there was on Two insects. You're making some progress. Are there? How many legs are there on two insects? Roaring raspberries. Now we know how to open this door. I can hardly wait to see what's on the other side. Let's get hopping. Look, reader! A door! You're on the right track. Are you ready to solve this message, dudes? You betcha we are. Let's figure out this sentence so we can open this door. Let us know if you need any help. Weave. Ben digging these tunnels for twelve months. We've been digging these tunnels for twelve months. Now that sentence makes sense. Wow, we did it! Ha <laughs> ha! Those cheesy pirates can't fool us. Look, reader! A door! Woohoo! We'll be at our ship in no time! We're getting closer to unlocking this door! <laughs> We've figured out part of the secret combination. Now we can continue on toward the ship. Look, reader! A door! We're so close to the ship. Dudes! Are you ready to solve the combination for this clock? You betcha we are. Let's figure out the time so we can open this door. Right on time. Let's do the next one. I'm 
I'm so glad we're solving these combinations. My pages are getting a little damp from the moisture in this cave. Bouncing bunnies! We did it! Let's get hopping! Look, reader! A door! We're so close to the ship. Are you ready to solve this message, dudes? You betcha we are. Let's figure out this sentence so we can open this door. Let us know if you need any help. This. Part. Of. An. Insect. Is. The middle. We have to make the whole sentence before we can unlock the door. Part. Middle. Insect. The. Of. Is. Wow, reader! This is a tricky one! Middle. Is. Middle. Part. Insect. This is the middle part of an insect. You found the secret message. You guys rule. Whoa, I knew you dudes were smart. We've decoded all the doors. There's our dream ship. Hoo we made it. Roaring raspberries, reader. There are three pirates guarding the ship. What are we going to do? Shh! Listen! Bricks made out of blue cheese build my appetite. Guarding reader's dream ship is making me uptight. I'm ready for a meal, but I could be here all night. I'm a hungry pirate. This ship's not as dreamy as my fantasies of bread. French bread in particular is what I should be fed. To think I could be eating when I'm standing here instead. I'm such a hungry pirate. Where is my French bread? Macaroni fruit is quite a special treat. Although it's tough to lift, my tummy knows it can't be beat. I simply can't imagine any food I'd rather eat. I am a hungry pirate. Did you hear that, Sam? They're hungry. I'll bet you if we can keep them busy eating cheese, they won't even notice us sneaking onto the ship? You read my mind, Sam. Let's get hopping. Ratbeard can't expect us to work night and day for him without food. Where's that next shift? Let's explore those cheesy pirate heads and see what's inside. 
The sooner we get it over with, the better. We need to get back to our ship. Nothing to worry about, folks. These blue cheese bricks are as solid as rocks. But as you know, they do seem to crumble a lot. Can you help me rebuild this dam? Sure we can, Larry. Sam, let's help Larry fix the dam. We could use some blue cheese bricks to keep those pirates busy. Good idea, Reader. They can't eat cheese and guard our ship at the same time. Brushes. Brushes. Make sure... Make sure you fill in all the missing letters. Jumped. Hotter. 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 Colder. 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 Let's fix some more words. Thanks. That'll hold the fondue back. Help yourself to a cheese brick. <laughs> Sound. get those pirates focused on something else so we can sneak past them onto the ship. Maybe we can distract them with something that Chester's carrying. Good idea, Sam. Try giving a different item to each one of them. You know what I'd like for lunch? Some blue cheese bricks. <laughs> Yum. French bread loaves are what I love to munch. Macaroni fruit is a treat I'd like to eat. It's bad for your back, but it's good for your teeth. We've got 
gotta get this baby in the air, Sam, and fast! Full reverse! Watch out, Reader! Those cheesy pirates are back! Don't let them get away! Arr! Right, boss! Sam? Is that you roaring? Uh, no, it's... it's... Gorgonzola! <sighs> Quick! Let's get out of here before it gets us, too! What about the pirates? Shouldn't we do something? You are right, Paige. Not even they deserve that thing. <sighs> Alert! Incoming object uh, at 10 o'clock. It looks like a, a... Cracker! Oh, Reader, shouldn't we transform the ship and activate the shields? Good idea, Sam. <sighs> the tanks with cheese balls. We'll squirt our way out of this one. Are the cheese ball tanks full, Sam? Tanks are full and activating, Reader. Ah, uh, Roger. We need to run diagnostics on each cracker for possible shield penetration. Incoming cracker! It's a direct hit! <laughs> the dis... We're cheesifying him! Keep the cheese coming! Tanks are back to full capacity! Setting course for Gorgonzola, Captain! Full speed ahead, Sam! Bunnies, this is cheese fantastic. Roaring raspberries. We have him on the run, reader. Hoo ha! We did it, Sam. We squirted that wave of crackers. Swing the ship around and recharge for the next wave, Sam. Uh, Roger, Captain. We are fully recharged, Reader. Woohoo! Let's save those cheese snacking pirates, Sam. <coughs> oh, great <coughs> squirting! You have a good eye today, Captain. <coughs> Howling hyenas! Ha <laughs> <laughs> That guy is really a cheese ball now! <laughs> Recharged to the max! Prepare for next wave! Here they come! Take aim and fire with maximum cheese power! Keep the cheese coming at full capacity, Sam. We're cheesifying him. Keep the cheese coming. Hoo ha! We did it, Sam. We squirted that wave of crackers. Swing the ship around and recharge for the next wave, Sam. Uh, Roger, Captain. We are fully recharged, Reader. Woohoo! Let's save those cheese snacking pirates, Sam. Sam, be prepared. Some income. <coughs> Bouncing bunnies, this is cheese fantastic. Roaring raspberries.
raspberries. We have him on the run, reader. Excellent squirting, Captain. You cheesed another wave. Circle around and recharge, Sam. Howling hyenas, this is a squirt. Recharged to the max. Prepare for next wave. Here they come. Take aim and fire with maximum cheese power. Great squirting! You have a good eye today, Captain. Howling hyenas! Ha <laughs> ha! That guy is really a cheese ball now. Hoo ha! We did it, Sam! We squirted that wave of crackers! Swing the ship around and recharge for the next wave, Sam! Uh, roger, Captain! We are fully recharged, reader. Woohoo! Let's save those cheese snacking pirates, Sam. Keep the cheese coming at full capacity, Sam. Cheesifying him! Keep the cheese coming! Excellent squirting, Captain. You cheesed another wave. Circle around and recharge, Sam. Howling hyenas! This is a squirt! Recharged to the max! Prepare for next wave! Here they come! Take aim and fire with maximum cheese power! Bunnies, this is cheese fantastic. <laughs> Roaring raspberries, we have him on the run, reader. <laughs> Hoo ha! We did it, Sam. We squirted that wave of crackers. Swing the ship around and recharge for the next wave, Sam. Uh, roger, Captain. We are fully recharged, reader. Woohoo! Let's save those cheese snacking pirates, Sam. <coughs> oh, great <coughs> squirting! You have a good eye today, Captain. <coughs> Howling hyenas! Ha <laughs> ha! That guy is really a cheese ball now. Hoo ha! We did it, Sam! We squirted that wave of crackers! Archie! Lunch is ready! Stop whatever you're doing and come home this instant! Oh, Mom! Do I have to? Sorry, guys. I can't play anymore. Of course. Gorgonzola has a mom. And ten brothers. I'm the smallest. Bye! He's, He's the, the smallest? smallest? Roaring raspberries! We did it! We sure did! the dream ship and we save the pirates from Gorgonzola. Speaking of pirates, I know what you mean. Did you happen to see where they went? Um... Oh, oh no! no! Bouncing bunnies! Here we go again! Congratulations! You've completed the adventure. Would you like to play